Well, I guess you didn't get the memo. You don't own this company anymore, Crack. Well, news travels fast, Paulie, but that's not why I'm here. I don't really care why, you, why you're here. Get out of here. Well, I will in a little bit, but I just do need to ask you some questions, like, what kind of a sucker do you think I really am? I don't think you want me to answer. Do you think that Lucinda knew your scheme to send me off to Barbados, go on a wild goose hunt for Johnny? Huh? That seemed like a pretty good idea. Well, it time. took me less than 24 hours to figure out it was all a hoax. 24 hours without Craig? It's a start. Not funny. So, now what? You're planning your revenge? Yeah, I'm working on it. Okay, don't even think about coming up to Worldwide, Craig. Oh, just the company. No, you and Lucinda can have the company. No, oh, no, there's things that I want much more than Worldwide. I knew you'd think it was from Paul. Craig. What's he done now? <sighs> this. Can't he just stay the hell away from you? Because Craig plays by his own rules. How long has this been going on? Well, so far, I've gotten two of these. Although, I, I really don't know what he hopes to accomplish. It's so beyond a lost cause. That's it. I'm going to stop this. Yeah, how, how? Wait, wait, wait. Nothing I've done has worked. I have to do something. I, I need to somehow get his attention. I, I don't know. Hold on. Don't. You stay away from Meg. Meg is off limits. <laughs> I'll take that under consideration. Now, Craig, I'm warning you. You hurt her again, you're a dead man. Well, I would never hurt Meg. I love her. You, however, that's a different story. You don't frighten me. Huh? Well, I'd be watching my back if I were you. Because when you least expect it, there I'll be. You go ahead. Get me with your best shot. Don't worry. I will. The best way to handle Craig is to ignore him. I have made my feelings quite clear that I want nothing to do with him, so sooner or later, it will sink in. And what if someone gets hurt in the meantime? I'm not taking any chances. I'm going to the police. Hey, 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 you can't go to the police because Craig sent me flowers and a couple of lame notes. It's more than that, and you know it. Okay, look, he's just trying to get a rise out of me. And if I don't react, he'll get the message and give up. Don't count on it, Meg. We both know what he's capable of. And haven't you lost enough because of this guy? Actually, losing my baby was Paul's fault. Because he was fighting with Craig. Hold him, please. Just let this go. There was a time when I thought I was in love with Craig, and in his own twisted way, he loved me. Sorry, Meg. I can't stand by and let this guy hurt you again. When it comes to Craig, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Now, you can play all the childish games with this company that you want, but when it comes to my son, you have crossed the line. You play enough dirty tricks with people, Craig. It's gonna come back and bite you. You have no idea what it means to be a father. You have no idea how far a man will go to protect his child. That's rich. It's coming from you. You and Brian, you weren't even on speaking terms when he died, if I remember right. And if you're such a great dad, how come Lucy had to kidnap Johnny just to keep him away from you? Johnny is not gone forever. You need to face it, Craig. You lost your business, you lost your wife, and you've lost your son. You can come back after Worldwide. I'm ready for you. But the other parts of your life, Craig, they're gone. They're done. Well, we'll just have to wait and see how the future unfolds. Don't we? Guess who's back? Well, I heard. I heard. My friend in Barbados, my contact, he, he told me the good news. Mr. Montgomery failed to take the bait. Yeah, I just caught him in my office with his feet up on my desk bragging about how it took him less than 24 hours to figure us out. Don't let that get you down. We're still gonna, we're still gonna trip him up. Don't underestimate him. My dear, I never do. I have been dealing with Craig's schemes for more years than I want to count. Yeah, but something seems different. He's got some secret plan for revenge. Doesn't he always? Yes, but now he's more volatile. It, he's making serious threats. And you know the first targets on his list will be the two of us. Craig can touch us. We're united. We have the company. He's odd man out. Yeah, but he's a very dangerous man. He lives for revenge. Well, he's already exacted his revenge on me when he duped Lily into giving him worldwide. From that moment on, for me, it was all just simple payback. Okay, so what's the payback for the payback? I know he's very upset with Meg. She's got to be on his list. I should get to her. 
I should get to her first. Anyway. Open up. Come on, Meg, open up. I gotta talk to you. It's important. Oh, I told you I wanted to see you. I came here to warn you. It's about Craig. You don't need to warn me about Craig. I know exactly what he's capable of. No, you don't. Of. Not this time. This time he was blatant. He completely said it. He said flat out that I better watch my back because he's coming after me. <sighs> Look, I know Craig could be ruthless. Yes, he is, Megan. I'm worried. I'm afraid. I'm afraid that he's going to come after you, too. You won't hurt me. What is that? Nothing. Nothing. I knew you'd think it was from Paul. It's just a note. It's harmless. Nothing this guy does is harmless, Meg. Look, he wants to come after me, that's fine, but I'm not going to let him get you. I'm not going to let you get caught in the crossfire. I already was. That's how I lost my baby. I know that. That's why I'm here. This time, Meg, this, this time I'm going to protect you. I don't need your protection, Paul, okay? I can't take care of myself. You don't understand. You have no idea what kind of danger you're in this time, Meg. Okay, you know what, Mia? Why don't you tell me exactly what you did this time to incite Craig? Do I want to know why you're here? I would like to report a crime. Oh, and you're turning yourself in, saving me the trouble of arresting you. Excellent. What have you done? As much as I know you enjoy interrogating me, I'm sorry to disappoint, but this has nothing to do with yours truly. Well, I doubt that. I would like you to put out an arrest warrant for Lucinda Walsh. Would you come again? You heard me. Get an arrest warrant for Lucinda Walsh. And what's the charge? Conspiracy with Evan Walsh. Evan Walsh, the same Evan Walsh that held her and Lily hostage. That just doesn't add up. What, where's your proof? That's your job. Oh. Wait, is this just some wild guess on your Oh, no, no, no. I am sure that there was a conspiracy at Memorial involving the research lab, and I know that Lucinda and Evan Walsh were involved. Craig. Good. I'm glad you're here. I want you to arrest him right now. Uh, why do you want me to arrest Craig? What's he has been done? stalking Meg. How? She keeps telling him to leave her alone, but he keeps sending her flowers and well, cryptic I, notes. I can't very well Meg arrest Meg lost her baby because of Craig. Is... He needs to stay away from her. Right, he I is harassing her, and it has to stop. All right, hold it. Craig, will you please stop sending flowers to Meg? It's a free country. What's it going to take? A restraining order? Look, I will never hurt Meg. Margot, are you going to help me out here? Um, or do I have to go to a judge? I will make sure that you never go near my sister again. You just never stop, do you? It's one of my more endearing qualities. Oh, yeah, vintage Craig. I am not afraid of Holden. I have no intention of hurting Meg. Quite the contrary. Paul, however, that's a different story. I can't pull a case out of thin air. Look, why don't you subpoena her phone records, detective? I'm sure you will see an awful lot of contact between Lucinda and Evan Walsh. She's on the board of the hospital where Evan Walsh is doing no. his research. If there is right. phone contact between them, that is not... Okay, you know what? I should never have tried to bring this to the Craig. Oakdale PD, a bunch of Keystone cops. What? What? what Look, what? I bring you a case oh on a silver platter. You're no, not even you going to investigate it. it. Fine. If that's, the, if that's a system in this town, I will seek my justice. Wait a minute, elsewhere. Craig. What are you going to do? The only thing left for me to say you will see soon enough no that sounds very final craig bye-bye marco i love you sis you do what you gotta do i'm gonna do what i need to do let's just call it that have a good life marco